Hello guys, and welcome to another video, and Nintendo put four games onto Nintendo Switch Online with the Sega Genesis library. All of these seem to be pretty solid selections here. Um, they're all games that I've heard of before, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out the first game here, which is Flicky. So yeah, um, if you aren't familiar with this game, this is actually the game which, um, one of the animal friends from Sonic first appeared in. It was originally an arcade game in 1984. So, yeah, I feel like that's kind of how I found out about this game. I kind of knew about, like, um, like with a bit of Sonic, um, information there. But yeah. Very, um, early 80s style arcade game here. Kind of reminds me of Mappy a little bit. Because you have to, like, avoid the cats, and you're kind of, like, in a house here. And then you also collect things, but the structure is slightly different, since you have to, like, go down to the door here. Okay. Yeah, definitely a pretty fun arcade-style game here. Hey, so yeah, let's check out the next game. And that is Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. So yeah, I actually haven't played Street Fighter 2 before, or really any Street Fighter games. So yeah, this is kind of new to me with this. I'm not sure if this is a version that people, or, like, one of the entries that people like or not. Um, well, I mean, because I know there's, like, a lot of different versions of Street Fighter 2. But, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, let's, let's just do, um, and, that's, um, I mean, even though, like, um, Ryu and Ken are the only, like, Street Fighter characters in Smash. I do recognize some of the other characters as well. Because, I mean, they're pretty iconic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this since I haven't played a fighting game outside of Smash. Actually, no, I have played a couple other fighting games before, but, like, mostly platform fighters. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, pretty fun game. Definitely a solid selection here. But yeah, let's check out the next game. So yeah, let's check out Kid Chameleon next. This is another game that I've heard of but have never played. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here with this one. I feel like all of these games I've heard of but never played. But it's cool that I can play them now since they're on the service. Yeah, 
This is this is definitely pretty solid. Yeah, I feel like this the selection this time is definitely better um than last time, though I do feel like there are a lot of games that are missing. I mean, I guess for the Sonic games, um, th there is Sonic Origins, so it kind of makes sense why there's such a limited selection of Sonic games, but... I, I feel like the selection here is definitely pretty solid. I like how this game controls. It looks pretty nice, too. I definitely like the visual style for a lot of these Sega Genesis games. Okay, so let's check out the final game here. So yeah, the final game that we're going to check out here is Pulseman. And I feel like this is definitely one that a lot of people were looking forward to. Because um, the cool thing about this one is that it was actually developed by Game Freak. So yeah, back before they made um, extremely buggy games. Yeah, kind of interesting to see like a game freak game like before they made Pokemon or before they released most of their games on Nintendo consoles. I know that they also did um Mario and Wario as well as um Yoshi puzzle game on the NES. I, I really like the visual style in this game. But yeah, I I've definitely heard of this game, but I've been wanting to play it for a while. It definitely looks pretty cool. Yeah, I can definitely hear the influence um, in the music, like, because um, it definitely sounds kind of similar to Pokemon in terms of, like, composition and everything with the music. I feel like it probably has the same composer as Pokemon here. I wouldn't be surprised since it's Game Freak. But yeah, a very visually appealing game. It looks very nice here, and it controls really well. I would say probably my favorite out of the batch of um, Sega Genesis games that they've added here. Yeah, overall, I feel like the selection is definitely pretty solid this time um, for the Sega Genesis library. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Make sure to check out my Discord server if you want to. Goodbye.